Hey guys, happy Monday. Uh, not sure when you guys are gonna see this video because I have another uh, one of our video from vacation. I'm gonna edit today and get up today on Monday. Um, so you'll probably see this Wednesday. But it is the day. Mama don't want to kick the ball, Miggy. I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. <laughs> he put it way up here. Way up here by my foot. He's like, yes, you will kick this ball. I don't care if you don't feel good. <laughs> He's like, I don't care if you don't feel good, Mom. I think the kitty wants out. Let's go see. Yep. Come on. Come on. He was pawing the door. Get the butt out. Get your butt out. There you go. He probably hasn't been out. Um, I don't think he went out yesterday when we got back. He probably hasn't been out because usually when my mother-in-law's here or anybody's here to watch them, they, uh, or he doesn't, he doesn't like it. Um, he hides. <laughs> Kitten is not very much a people person uh, when we leave and he's alone with someone um, else taking care of him. So <laughs> this is probably his first time outside since we got home yesterday. So anyways, yeah, like I was saying uh, to Miggy, who just brought this ball up and put it between my feet, <laughs> I guess I better kick the ball. Um, I haven't been feeling good today. I mentioned uh, in a video, um, a couple videos back, that I've been having some issues. And I had scheduled a doctor's appointment back then. And then I started, um, I started feeling better, and I canceled it. Which I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have canceled it. Um, my husband said, any little things wrong with the dogs? You have them there instantly. If anything's wrong with you, you never go to the doctor. <laughs> and he's right. I, I hate going to the doctor. I hate it. So, while we were on vacation, um, uh, one day we were there, I was having some problems, and I decided to call the doctor. I think I called on Friday while they were open and scheduled an appointment for today on Monday at 10.30 this morning. So, got up, went to that. And my doctor had me go for some blood work, which I, I fasted this morning because I figured I was probably going to get some blood work done. And, um, and I've got a appointment. I set up an appointment this Friday at 11 for an ultrasound. So I've got that going on. Yesterday we got home and while vacation was fun and enjoyable, I wasn't feeling the greatest and um, didn't sleep the greatest. And you never sleep the greatest when you're not in your own bed. But uh, so yesterday when we got home, I was exhausted. I said, how do you go away on a little vacation to relax and you come home <laughs> feeling more exhausted than when you left? <laughs> how does that work? But. So I went to my doctor's appointment today, came home, fed dogs, played with them outside, and then laid down and I just woke up from a two hour nap. Yes, and I feel a bit better. I feel um, um, more rested now. Um, so anyways, that's what's going on with me. <laughs> I'm sure the boys weren't happy that they were in their crates while I was snoozing. So I've got them outside now. Uh, playing with them so yeah so that's what's going on um, they were very excited to see us as you probably saw if you watched the last video when we came home very excited to see us uh, Miggy wouldn't leave my side <laughs> all last night um, and Magnum too checking on me like you're not leaving again mom are you and I posted a photo on our Facebook page uh, five of the boys all in the bedroom. <laughs> Milo jumped so high in the air. <laughs> I better kick it to him. Let me kick the ball to Milo. Milo, are you ready, Milo? You want the ball, Milo? Oh, Miggy! 
Miggy! Uh, you, hey, you let me kick that to Milo. Come here, Milo. Come here, Milo. <laughs> He's like, see, mom kicked it to me. <laughs> you just don't bring it to me. Okay, you ready, Milo? You ready? You ready? <laughs> um, yeah, they fall asleep on the bed watching me unpack. Why are you eating grass? Why are you eating grass? You little goat. You little goat. We finally took the fence down around the fire pit because the grass had grown, filled in pretty good. So my husband took it um, down when we got home and mowed around it. And of course, since it was quite long in some patches, there was some grass clumps. And oh, all Magnum, well, actually all the dogs kept eating the clumps of grass uh, that were left behind. Oh, look what I just did. <laughs> I just kicked my shoe off, kicking the ball. I think he's like, what was that? What was that flying through the air? <laughs> These shoes are a little bit too big. And they always were when I bought them, so. Especially if I don't wear um, socks. So these are my uh, new poop shoes. So when I look for laying mines. So anyways, yeah, they. I don't remember what I was saying. I was uh, unpacking and five of the boys just fell asleep in there watching me, making sure I was getting everything unpacked. And Mozzie was in, sitting with my husband in the recliner, watching football. So, anyways, okay guys, I just wanted to do a little check-in video um, of how I've been, not the greatest. I'm hoping um, to get what's going on resolved and get to feeling better, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. And uh, <laughs> just wanted to show the boys are happy we're home. Um, what are you doing, Magnum? Did something get you? Did something get you, Magnum? Um, everybody's happy, healthy. Um, Grandma survived watching the boys. <laughs> she said, that is a big yard to clean up poop. <laughs> I was like, yes it is. You got to do a grid pattern, a search grid pattern to find all the poops. So, and she said the boys would not stay away from the shed. I noticed when we left that they were constantly by this shed. Um, underneath these doors here, it's like they buried some wiring and something must be living under here and they would not stay away from the shed door. And she said the exact same thing. So we put some of our logs for our fire pit here in front of the door and they've now they sniff over there but they're not standing there for forever sniffing and then magnum was trying i caught him trying to dig a hole so um and then over here on each side of the shed we had to put um first we tried this little fence that didn't work they jumped right over it so we put these things that are from a pen i had from when Magnum was a puppy, cable tied those together, cable tied them to the little fencing. So now they can't get back there because whatever's living under there, which I think it's a chipmunk because it keeps, it keeps running across the fence here on this wood here. Um, that must be where it goes in and out of two. And I caught uh, Milo back here with half his head under the shed. <laughs> before we left so we had to put this stuff up before we left so I knew they couldn't get back there and get hurt so yeah but someone must be home so I'm gonna end the video here and I will check in again um in a couple days all right guys I hope everyone's having a great week talk to you later bye